Hey folks, it's Ron at Endless Shine Steam Cleaning and Disinfecting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to delve into a little bit of a format here that I'm not comfortable or used to, which is video, but I think that, um, you know, it's not so entertaining for people to keep looking at pictures of toilets and urinals and bathroom floors. Don't worry, I'm going to have to continue to post those because that's the only way that I can show what I do at Endless Shine Steam Cleaning and Disinfecting, but I think... You know, maybe we can have some discussions over video about different things, whether it's cleaning or whether it's life or business. For instance, I wanted to raise this question to anybody who might be watching this video, and it, it may be nobody, hopefully it's somebody. But, uh, you know, what, uh, at what, where do you set the priority for an unbudgeted project that somebody shows you kind of needs to be done? For instance, if you're a property manager and somebody shows you... <laughs> Look, you've got some damage here and you need to repair it and you've never seen it before. You don't have the budget for it. And from my experience, I say, yeah, you're absolutely right. Let me take a look at, at the budget and see if I can get it approved. Um, sometimes it's not such an obvious thing like damage. Sometimes it's, uh, for instance, I, I, I clean some, some bathroom floors. And while there was a difference in how the bathroom floors looked before and after, uh, it wasn't a huge significant difference. It's not like, whoa, that, like, you know. Not, it wasn't significant enough for the client to continue to want to go forward with services. Now, there's another video that I do a discussion on that because we're talking about hygienics and we're talking about aesthetics. And when I show somebody that their bathroom floors have not been cleaned properly and now they're cleaned properly, we've gotten rid of all, this, all, the, all the really nasty pathogens and bacteria and molds and mildews that have been absorbed into their floors, which provide odors in, in unhealthy environments. Okay, that's cleaned but it doesn't look so much different than it did before. Do you continue or do you not continue with the service knowing full well that it hasn't been done properly before and now you have an opportunity to do it properly before? So where does the, where does the decision point come in? So I'm interested to hear thoughts and feedback um, on that. Let me know through tweet, Twitter or, or Facebook or LinkedIn or email if you have some topics that you'd like to discuss about anything. It doesn't matter if it's steam cleaning, cleaning. Um, we'll raise them here. And hopefully I've got one or two people watching that will do that. In any case, I'll post more videos later and hopefully you enjoy them more than looking at pictures of toilets.